Power Hour. Test, test. Welcome to 102.1. 102.1. Welcome to 102.1, the Power Hour. Power Hour, Power, Power, Power. And welcome to the Power Hour on Alt 102.1. I'm your host, John. I hope you all had a great 4th of July weekend. Thanks to all of you who came out to the 102.1 Independence Day Bash. I was going to start you off with a song I wrote that's climbing the charts, but we already have a caller on the request line. Hello, caller. You're on Power Hour. What's your request? Hello, John. I just wanted to request a song for an old acquaintance of mine. I know he'll be listening. Could you play Hallelujah by Kelly Garner, please? Um, uh, I'll, I'll be sure to, to cue that right up. Thanks, John. Amanda. Oh, sorry, folks. It's uh, coming right up. How many people were at the conference? You can only listen to speeches about ink cartridges for so long. I think I got carpal tunnel from shaking so many people's hands. Did the producer call while I was gone? Nah, I, I tried calling him yesterday, but it went straight to voicemail. Oh, yeah, um, I know Valentine's Day isn't until tomorrow, but... I got you your present today. Happy Valentine's Day, Amanda. Thank you. Thanks, John. Is there something else hidden beneath the sports page? No, honey, that, that's it. I know how much you love Bruce Springsteen. It's a Japanese import, too. It's got the best live version of Born to Run you'll ever hear. Uh, John, Valentine's Day. Women are supposed to get flowers or chocolate or a nice dinner or something. You just don't get it, do you? Don't you remember? Bruce Springsteen was playing on the jukebox at the Blue Collar when we first met. Do you know how hard this Japanese LP was to John, find? I had to go to six different record stores. You just don't get it. And I don't think you ever will. What about the engagement ring you promised me? How many women would say yes to a proposal without a ring? Like I told you, the minute I get signed, I'm going to go out there and buy you the biggest rock I can find. 
It's gonna happen, Amanda. I can feel it. I'm sorry. I can't deal with this right now. I, I have to get up early tomorrow to go to work and make up all the work that I missed this weekend. I, I'm sorry. The company is sending me back for my MBA. The apartment's such a convenient walk from the school. Your name's still on the lease, you know. So Would you consider moving back in with me? No one is calling you back. I'm trying. I have studio time on Wednesday. I'm recording another demo. People said they really liked the last one. But you just gotta give us some time, okay? I'm gonna make it. They all suck. Your last demo sucked. This sucks. When you record it, it sucks. When you perform it, it sucks. And guess what? It all fucking sucks. But you told me you love them. I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Your family and friends didn't want to hurt your feelings. But the fact is, you're not going to make it. I can't take care of you anymore. I want you and your stuff out by the time I come home from work tomorrow. You really want that? Yeah. How can you ask me that? I can make it up to you. I'll be here for the next three years. We can work this out. I've already wasted so much time with you, and I'm not going to waste any more. I'm here now, doing fine just without you. I'm better for it. I'm learning how to make better music. I'm sorry things fell apart. My new promotion was suffocating me. I just fell out of love with the relationship. The pressure tore us apart. You can make all the excuses you want and still doesn't take back some of the things you said. Can't we just move on? You're doing well now. I was wrong. Didn't some big name pick up one of your songs? Yeah. It was one of the pieces of paper that you tore up. Luckily, I was able to put it back together. As a matter of fact, it's, it's coming up next. You can listen to it on your way out. Hallelujah, hallelujah.